Chris McDonald, it's so good to see you. Welcome. Um, we're excited to have you in Southwest Florida. Uh, I know Thank you're you very much. Yeah, you're going to be at um, the Seminole Casino Hotel on August 13th. That's just around the corner. So tell me a little bit about how you got started as an Elvis tribute artist. That's pretty cool. I kind of studied the music and the history of it and how it really affected uh, quite a bit, you know, with, uh, with the change of the music to, uh, from uh, predominantly uh, uh, black musicians with rhythm and blues and how Elvis' uh, performances brought it in uh, to the mainstream. Uh, you know, it's just a very interesting time period, a lot of history to it. So I got into it that way. This August is the 45th memorial of his passing, correct? That's, that's correct. That's wow. 45 it, years ago. We're still talking about it. Well, that's, that was what I wanted to bring up. So, you know, he's sure. so iconic. What about him not only makes him still relevant, but I mean, there's also a new movie that's just been released with him as well. Right. Well, that's what's great about it too. The movie is fantastic. You got to go see it. Mm -hmm. uh, they did a great job with it. Baz Luhrmann did a wonderful job. If you uh, give it a thumbs story. up, then I'm going. <laughs> oh yeah. It's great. And then his, his wife, Catherine, did all the set design and the costuming. And then Austin did a fantastic job. Uh, he a uh, great actor. So everything is, it's good. It brings Elvis into the new generation also. Right. And I would say, you know, from all the reviews I've read, I haven't seen you yet. I'm really looking forward to seeing you August 13th at uh, the Seminole Casino and Hotel. So during the show, I'll relay, well, this is a song that Elvis did when they cut him off the way. So, so don't look at me. <laughs> you know, that kind of, so we throw references. We'll yeah. talk about the movies and then the 1968 comebacks. That's what I do with the show. We do the early 50s. You know, the uh, black and white shoes and the suit jacket and the collar up, that kind of thing. The movies, you know, right. Viva Las Vegas and Jailhouse. And then I change into black leather. We do that 68 comeback. And then we do a little uh, change after that. I do a change in the white trench. We do the 70s. Okay. And in between these changes, uh, I run some video clips that bring you into the historical perspective of what was going wow. on for Elvis during those time frames. So it's a story of the uh, shy, humble country boy became the king of rock and roll. It's a tribute. I actually did eight, uh, seven years for Elvis Presley Enterprises. I was hired by them to perform at Graceland. That's what I wanted to ask Hotel. about. I mean, that's pretty yeah. impressive. Every every uh, January for the birthday, every August for the Memorial Week. So I was able to play for fans from all over the, the world. And uh, what I do is a tribute. Uh, it's a natural resemblance, natural moves, natural vocal without going over the top. And what I do is I talk about what Elvis did during the right. show. I don't say I'm Elvis. There's only one Elvis. Yeah. So as a tribute artist, it must have been quite an experience to play with some of Elvis's original band members. Didn't you get to do that? Yes. Yeah. Tell me about yes, that. Actually, I got to perform with Jordan Ayers mm -hmm. with the harmony vocals that you see on the Ed Sullivan show with him, uh, the four guys that perform with him, and also his original drummer, DJ Fontana. So he's performed often with us. And uh, it's amazing because you're doing this music that you've heard all your life. And I'm singing it, and then all of a sudden I hear those vocals wash over you. I just Does it just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just uh, if the vocals just, you know, they're, yeah. they're, they're background vocals. I just got drums. chills <laughs> for you. You got chills too? Yeah. yeah it's, 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 a, it's a part of our history, yeah. the culture. Rock and roll, Elvis, is America's gift to the world. And it's, it's done um, with energy. It's a live band. I've got an eight-piece band. Nice. So I've got a live, yeah, live band with a horn section. I have crew, uh, two girl dancers that come out to do some of those movie songs because there's always girls in those movies. Yeah. So I have them come out and do Viva Las Vegas and and a little less conversation and some of those songs. So it, it's basically a celebration of his life and music. We've got energy and live music and costume changes and and history interlaced yes. in there. Is there anything else? that uh, we're going to see, or are you going to keep some of it quiet and kind of under the hat? So you have to see, you have to actually go there to get it. Everything happens at that moment. It's the way the audience reacts. And I actually react to the audience and uh, we're going to connect. I guarantee you. Oh, Chris, this sounds so exciting. So again, Chris McDonald is a premier Elvis tribute artist, uh, very well-respected. And uh, I, I'm going to say that you're, you're the top notch up there. I mean, if you're pl playing with Elvis's original band members i mean they're just they're not going to play with just anybody so congratulations yeah, on that great great honor great yeah. honor i truly enjoyed uh, every moment so we will see you Thank august 13th at the seminole casino hotel and um, tickets are on sale and we're going to see you then right yes you will i hope i see you too see i hope so there. too thank you very much chris mcdonald thank Good you stuff. so much right. i look forward to seeing you <laughs>